Hi everyone, <clears throat> this is Shirley from Shirley's World. I let the chickens out. They really wanted to come out. They're standing at the gate, gate cackling. So I came out to sit with them for a little bit. And uh, that's uh, Molly. The only one that's still giving me eggs, she's not molting yet, I don't think, but she hasn't given me an egg in two to three days, so I don't know. Maybe she's going to start to molt. Uh, the other girls are, of course they always go away from the camera and make me give up. Where are they? Over here. Yeah. There they are. Hi, whoever's here. Let me know who you hear. And thanks for uh, the replay visitors that you're, if you're watching. This is uh, Dottie, the black and white uh, silver laced Wyandotte. And this is Ego. She's an Easter egger. And that one over there reaching through the fence to get better grass, she thinks, is, oh, she's, I think she found a little bit of clover. I don't know, something with the yellow flower on. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah. Hi, Molly. Hi. Thanks for joining. Let me know where you're from. I'm in Northeast Ohio. It's a beautiful fall day. It got a little windy this evening, but I put my mic on so you can't hear the wind. Because uh, I hate that when you can hear the wind on the scopes. I'm just sort of following them around here. My lawnmower guy came and mowed the lawn today, so. Over there is, can you see her? That's Mama Cat. She's scratching on a piece of wood. That's good. And my girls are, uh, I like to come out, I like them to come out in the sun, although they have some sun in their run. But there's more, uh, there's bugs and worms and good things out here, so they need to come out here every few days at least. When the weather's good every day, they, I have them come out almost every day. But I have to keep my dogs in the house and, uh, I wanted to give you a report on Spirit, my dog that is had her first chemo treatment yesterday. And she's doing very well today. She didn't feel so good last night. But uh, to this morning after she had a good night's sleep, she felt back to her normal self, I think. I mean, she was acting normal. And she ate breakfast and she ate supper. So I'm really happy about that. <clears throat> and the horses came through their vaccines, their fall vaccines, all right. Except, hi, you're from Tennessee. Ah, beautiful state. My horses uh, had their fall vaccines also yesterday. And Preacher, the quarter horse, sort of has a stiff neck. He sort of gets a local reaction from the rabies shot, but uh, Echo, who sometimes gets a little bit colicky, he did pretty well. So, I'm glad about that. That always uh, is something that I dread, spring and fall. I hate the, even the word colic. Just uh, 
drives me crazy. Your name is Sheila? Rev told me. Oh, yeah, I watch Rev scopes every day. Yeah, I don't have near as many chickens as him. Right now I'm down to four, and I'll be getting more, I'll be getting more little chicks in the spring. So that'll be fun to scope about. And usually I have uh, all kinds of facts and things about how to raise uh, your first chicks and your first hens. How you grow up on a farm. Yeah. I'm telling you, I wish I would have gotten them a lot sooner. If I would have known they were so much fun, I would have gotten them sooner. <clears throat> you watch my replay? Thank you. Thank you, I appreciate it. Yeah, I, I watch uh, Rev's scopes every day of him getting the chickens out, putting the chickens away. <laughs> yeah, chickens are sweet. I don't have any roosters, and I don't plan on getting any, because I don't, I'm not going to have a big flock. You know, the most chickens I'll have probably is six to eight. But, uh, when I got these as chicks, they're almost three years old now. When I got them as chicks, I had six chicks were uh, came by mail. Yeah, they sure are. <laughs> and one died at two weeks. Something was stuck in its crop. But I had uh, five hens up until my dog got one. My dog got uh, one of the Easter eggers. I have English pointers, so they're bird dogs. And she flew over the fence and he got her. So that was a sad day. I, I make sure they're in the house when the chickens are anywhere out of their secure run. You have a blue healer, huh? And a cat. Blue healers are great with horses. Yeah. A barn we were at before this one uh, had a couple blue healers. They're uh, fun to watch work. Yeah. <clears throat> Do you have any other animals besides chickens? I have two horses. I have uh, one quarter horse. He's older. He's 22. And I have a 10-year-old uh, draft cross. And he's a, he's a pretty big guy, not huge, but he's the one I ride mostly. Very comfortable to ride because, of course, they're nice and wide. <laughs> and they use him as, as a school horse at the barn also because he has such a great personality. Mm. You live in town now? No farm, just a lovely backyard. Uh -huh. Yeah, well, I only have one square acre here. It's not like I have a big farm. My horses are boarded at a at a place, a really nice barn, about 15 minutes away from me. And I go to see them, you know, a couple times a week. I used to go a lot more often when I was riding more, but I don't ride as much. Yeah, <laughs> they are pretty... I don't ride as much now. I'm 73. I had a back injury a while back, and I don't ride that much anymore. My daughter's looking for an Arab. She had an Arab before, and she's on the look for another Arab. Her Arab uh, died at 34 years old, and that was four years ago. It took her this long to get over it. I mean... She's really, really bonded with that horse. But she's ready now, and she's looking. So, that'll be exciting. I love the little sounds that chickens make. The little cooing and clucking. <clears throat> yeah. I just read today that if... Uh, Brown egg layers always have the red earlobes. Never realized that before. So mine all have 
Well, he doesn't have earlobes. That's the Easter egg. Or he, she lays uh, green eggs. Yeah. And the rest lay brown eggs. And they do have uh, red earlobes. <clears throat> this little guy had bumblefoot uh, a few weeks back that I had to treat. And Molly had it once, too, a long time ago. Molly was the first one to get it. I took her to the vet, and the vet sort of showed me how you treat it. And so I did this the little surgery this time on, on little Ego. But it came out pretty good, so I guess I was a successful surgeon. You just lance it. It's like a big boil. <clears throat> Yeah, I have fun with my little chicks. <laughs> yes, they are spoiled. All my animals are spoiled. I have uh, two English pointers and two horses, and I have two barn cats. The barn cats we rescued from another farm that was uh, had gone under, so they have never been in a house. So there, they live in my, actually it's not a barn, it's my garage, <laughs> but they're very happy there, and in the winter, uh, in the winter I put a heat lamp out there for them. Yeah, mine too. Well, not the chickens, but, yeah, I work with the uh, English, the Pointer Rescue Organization, <coughs> so I fostered also, but I also, I always flunk fostering and adopt, so. <laughs> I, uh, res I fostered and rescued a St. Bernard once. Beautiful dog, wonderful soul. But uh, the thing I learned about a St. Bernard was, <clears throat> at my age, you shouldn't have a dog that outweighs you. And he outweighed me by a lot. He was like 165 pounds. So, they're eating these little, I don't know what that weed is with the little flowers. <coughs> it's a weed. It's not chamomile. Sometimes it look, that looks like chamomile, but it's not. <coughs> Why they do that, they, they always have to see what's on the other side of the fence. You know, the grass is always greener. Yeah, I love their little sounds. They stick their heads through, like that one, and eat the grass on the other side. Now it's the same grass as over on this side. They're funny. <coughs> Don't you love Rev's uh, Rooster Elvis? in here hoot. Yeah, he's just learning to be a rooster. <laughs> yeah, he is funny. <coughs> so I thought I'd just come out here where I... Yes. Yeah. That was a great name for him. He, he was think they were thinking Everybody was uh, suggesting names, but when he heard that one, I think he really liked it. <clears throat> what are you doing, Dottie? Hmm? I think Dottie's a beautiful chicken. She's that silver lace Wyandot. They're all molting, so... Look at Dottie hardly has any tail feathers. They're just starting to grow back, and their necks are all skinny. <laughs> They're kind of a mess right now, but, yeah, hi, yeah, they're kind of scruffy looking. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yeah, I handled these from day one, so 
they are very, very friendly, and if I sit down, they often fight to get on my lap. But <clears throat> <laughs> Thanks, Sheila. Uh, hi, Daddy. Daddy. Yay, you sweet little girl. I have a uh, dog. I said uh, he's had his first chemo treatment yesterday. This is a rescue I got. I just got in December, and she had a history when they found her in Oklahoma. She had been dumped out in the woods, and she was almost starved to death. <clears throat> Thank you. I like Periscope. It's fun. And uh, this dog had mammary tumors. And uh, the rescue took her and uh, had her surgery for her tumors. But now she has, you're 44. Now she has a lung cancer. She has tumors, multiple tumors in both sides of her lungs, which is terrible. But I'm going to opt, I opt for to try the chemo to see if we can extend her life a little bit make her comfortable, more comfortable, because she has a cough, not real bad, but uh, it was it was getting more frequent, so I took her to the vet, and we treated her for a week for, like, uh, allergies. It was like an allergy cough, but that didn't help at all, so she, the vet said, bring her back, and we'll do a chest x-ray, and that's what we found right away. So I got her started on chemo right away to see if we can sort of shrink the tumors. Oh, thank you. If I didn't have all my animals, I'd probably be rich. <laughs> you know, horses, horses are so expensive. And... Uh, my chickens are the only inexpensive thing, well, the cats, only inexpensive thing I have. <clears throat> well, it was very nice talking to you. Thank you for joining. And I hope to see you on here again. I have to thank Rev for, uh, I know he, I saw on there, on Twitter that he, uh, told a lot of people about me. Oh, thank you, thank you. But uh, I have to go in and have some supper, I guess. It's my turn. Everybody else is eating. Oh, thank you. Bye-bye. See you next time. Bye.